This video is sponsored by Vanguard. Check out vanguardworld.com for tripods, camera bags and cases to suit all budgets. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my unboxing and first look at this, the Sony DSC RX10. This has got a one inch sensor in a brand new body with a brand new lens on the front. In fact, it's the same one inch sensor that is in my favorite camera at the moment. This is my compact uh, DSC RX100 Mark II. Now this new camera, the RX10, has got the same sensor in, just albeit in a different body, a sort of larger, more sort of bridge camera type body, and really good optics on the front. So I'm very excited to actually take a look at this. Now we'll take a look at the side of the box. This has got some of the specifications here. It's got Wi-Fi, NFC, a Zeiss lens on the front, which is one of the highlight features, Exmor R CMOS sensor, a Bions 10 processor, AVCHD progressive capture, tri-luminous color, uh, 4K still image size, uh, one inch type sensor, 20.2 megapixels, and that lens on the front, the Zeiss lens, 24 to 200 millimeters with a fixed f2.8 aperture. It's also got a three inch screen, which is tiltable. So let's get this unboxed and take a look at what we get. Now, do subscribe to the Geek Noise channel because this particular camera, I'm gonna be doing this unboxing and then in a future video, I'm going to be showing you uh, sort of my full opinion on this as well. So you'll get a full review of this camera on the channel in the future. So that's that seal broken. Let's have a look inside. And if it's anything like the RX100, it's going to be beautifully packed. So this first section here, we've got some paperwork. We've got the uh, European Guarantee document. We've also got a place to register the camera. We've also got some details about the Wi-Fi connection and OneTouch NFC. And then we have got some information about accessories, of which there are many. And then we have got an instruction manual, just the one manual in this one. And then a little bit further down, we have got the rest of the accessories Wow, this looks very, very sort of dark and mysterious in here. I was expecting some accessories in here, but alas, there are none. We have got the main sort of body of the camera with the lens, because it's a fixed lens. So we're gonna put that off to one side. We'll have a look at the RX10 in a moment. And then in this little section here, we have got the rest of the accessories. So very, very dark. I'm sorry that you can't see that too well but black packaging on this one does not make it easy to see. So let's grab all of these accessories out, we we'll get rid of the box, and then we can have a proper look at what we get included. And we have got all of the accessories out of that box. Let's take a look at what we get. So first of all, let's have a look at the little power brick. So we've got a multi-voltage power brick. Now, this is a shame, there's no external charger with this camera. So we've just got a multi-voltage power brick here. USB cable goes in this end and you actually charge the uh, camera battery inside the camera. And then in this end, we put a figure eight connector with a country specific cable. So a little bit of a shame that we don't get an actual external battery charger. Let's show you this next. This is a three pin UK figure eight cable. So figure eight cable on this end, or figure eight plug on this end, three pin UK plug on this end, and you use that with this little power brick to charge the camera or the battery. Now we've got the USB cable, so a short USB cable, and on one end we've got full size USB, on the other end we've got micro USB which are going to the camera. So that's all of the charging accessories, and then we've got the little brick here, the little battery that's gonna actually power the camera, and you can see here it says Info Lithium Battery. It's a really sort of big battery, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And it's their model number NPFW50. It's a 1080 milliamp hour battery, 7.3 watt hour. So that's going to power the camera. And then last but not least, we have got an RX10 branded uh, sort of shoulder strap. So very, very nice accessories. And then this is really well wrapped. Let's take a look inside. There it is. This is the RX10 and I'm super excited to get hold of this because I absolutely love the RX100, which I'll pull into shot again in a moment. And we also get a lens hood, so they include a lens hood with this. You can see it's Sony branded and that 
go well on the front of that really nice Zeiss lens. So let's pop that to one side. We're going to remove this little tab that's on the side of the camera, like so. This has just got some extra information about the camera, just stating that it's got that one inch 20.2 megapixel sensor and then some of the actual features that I talked to you about earlier. One thing that wasn't mentioned on the box is the multi interface shoe, which is hidden under here. I'll show you that in a short while as well. So here we go, this is the RX10. It's got some nice weight to it, very, very nice weight. So let's have a little guide around the camera, shall we? Let's start off on the back. So we've obviously got an EVF electrical viewfinder. We've got a menu button here and a direct record movie button here. This is a three inch screen, which of course is tiltable. So it tilts downwards and then it also comes out and tilts upwards as well. So you can get low level and high level shots and then it goes back onto the body like so. And then we've also got an array of controls here. So we've got a little thumb wheel dial. We've got an AEL button, a function button. We've got a rotating dial here, which is always also a four way rocker and then a middle button as well. Playback button. We've got a trash can. We've got a nice sort of thumb grip. And then if we look down on the body of the RX10, you can see this really nice ergonomic grip. So it is SLR like, but not as big as an SLR camera. Now also across the top of the camera, we've got a pop up flash here and we've also got the mode dial. So the mode dial, you can see we've got a program mode, aperture mode, shutter priority, manual, uh, custom one and two settings. We've also got the video mode. We've also got panoramic mode, C mode and an auto mode. And then on here, we've got a couple of stereo microphones. So stereo mic capture. We've got an illuminator button, flash pop-up button, which does work with the camera switched off. There's the built-in pop-up flash. And then we've also got this display, which is what this illuminates. So we've got an information display built in on the top. And then coming across to here, we've got a zoom rocker. We've got the shutter button just here. We've got a custom button here. And we've also got the on off switch located just at the back here. And then we've got an exposure compensation dial. And I mentioned a multi interface shoe. If I just take this off, you will see just underneath here, we've got a standard hot shoe here for standard flash, but there's also connectors just at the front there. So you can add on things like video lights or microphones if you so wish. And then we've got the cover that goes neatly back on. And then something I almost missed is just a diopter adjustment here to adjust the uh, EVF. And then round on this side, we've got a little door that opens. Very nice feeling to this as well, very solid. And this is where the SD cards actually go. So really nicely made. We've also got the NFC sensor on this side as well. And then round on this side, we have got the ports. So let's have a look under here. So we've got two separate doors. The top one, we have got the uh, headphone monitoring port and also the microphone port. Microphone is the red one at the top and that snaps back nicely. And then underneath this bottom one, we've got a micro HDMI and also a multi AV port as well. And then round on the bottom here, we've got the standard tripod threaded mount there. And then we've also got the place for the battery, the battery holder, which goes in there. And now let's have a look at the lens, shall we? This is the Zeiss lens. So we can take the really nice uh, sort of lens cap off. And you can see here it takes a 62 millimeter threaded filter if you want to protect it or put a uv filter on there or a polarizing filter for example and then we have got uh, the actual sort of uh, controls on the side here so we've got this one here which also operates the zoom i'm hoping that you can also assign this to manual focus and then we've got the aperture dial now if i just stop talking you can hear that that clicks as you turn it round, which is absolutely fine. But this has also got a switch, which on the bottom here says click on, click off. If we switch it off, that aperture dial remains silent now. So if we were in video mode, we can change the aperture without it making any sound. So we've got a clickless uh, or click free aperture dial on here. Very, very cool. So here we go. This is the Sony DSC RX10, a very, very capable camera with some really good Zeiss optics on the front. 
and my favorite camera as I mentioned at the beginning of this video is the Sony DSC RX100 Mark II so I'm really hoping that the RX10 lives up to expectations please please subscribe to the channel because don't forget I'm going to be bringing you a full HD video capture sample using the RX10 and also in a future video I'll be bringing you my final opinion in a review of this camera as well thanks very much for watching please do hit that like button as I said before please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video Thank you.